Well, put simply, no. And Katehi's office is on the top floor of Merrick Hall behind me. And I'm told that she did not come into the office today. Also, she was not on campus. When we asked whether or not she still works for the university, we, would not, we did not get a yes or no answer. Instead, we were told by representatives that they're working to get more information. Chancellor Linda Katehi remains in the hot seat, and now it may be more than just students and lawmakers calling for a resignation. In a letter obtained by KCRA 3 News to State Senator Lois Wolk, two professors start off writing, a report has reached us that President Napolitano has requested the resignation of UCD Chancellor Katehi. We tried to confirm that information, but the door outside Katehi's office was locked and our cameras were not allowed inside. Meantime, at her Davis home, no one answered the door and her husband refused to talk when he arrived home. Though Katehi is staying silent, the campus is buzzing with talk of her. People are pretty much fed up with it. I mean, if anything now, it's just tiring. It's just really tiring. It's definitely being talked about. Everywhere you go, you hear it. You also see it. Messages on campus are written in chalk calling for a resignation using hashtags like Fire Katehi and Pepper Spray University. Katehi came under intense scrutiny when campus police pepper sprayed several student protesters in 2011. Then this year it surfaced that the university paid $175,000 to clean up its online reputation after the incident. Katehi is also under fire for accepting board positions with DeVry University and with a textbook publisher. When you start to look at the past, you wonder why are you still doing this? Why are you so adamant on staying when it has become this much of an issue? Now, Katehi was set to meet with students Thursday for a public forum in the quad in which she takes student questions. It's unknown if that meeting will still happen. Reporting live at UC Davis, I'm Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.